Welcome to uh, Acoustic Paradiso here on Anderson's TV. My name is Pete. Hello, my name is Joss. Uh, and today we're talking about like some uh, baking. Baking. Mm. Some thermo. Thermo. Isn't that thermo? the guy that works in the uh, who drives the van? Telmo. From the. Oh, it's Telmo. It's not thermo. It's thermo age technology. <laughs> Telmo age technology. Telmo. Right, Ibanez has brought out this new range of guitars. Awesome range of guitars. It seems to be really um, popular these days to. Uh, to bake everything, everything, mm. whether it's the baked roasted maple neck or torification, yeah, yeah. or these guys call it thermo aged. Yeah, I don't know why they can just call it one thing. I know, can't they just it's call it same, everything baked? It's all the same, I think. It's all the same. I think it's kind of the same where you sort of dr you take out, you basically vacuum, you put the wood uh, the wood in like a vacuum oven, and it draws out and changes moisture mm. and on a molecular structure yeah and it should it does make the all of the like the highs and the mids and the lows everything better basically that's what it is isn't yeah it? so i mean what i read was that they they yeah they take out all the moisture in the wood mm. um tore uh, thermo age them uh, the tops <laughs> um and apparently it's because it has um, more of the qualities of older vintage yes. guitars. It is to is to mimic. Let me just put my lapel up here. It is to mimic old wood that has been sitting around for donkeys. Mm. I don't know where that. Why? Where does that come from? Donkeys years. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's because they take years to get anywhere. Why, why wouldn't it be like a, a turtle's years that they're much yeah, slower? Yeah, yeah. yeah, toilet years. Can somebody comment below? Because donkeys. That might be longer. That might be where it comes from. Yeah, it might it's be. Like pretty long donkeys, aren't they? Mm. So. Uh, what appendage are we talking about? Here? I don't know. Ears. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, so Ivan has brought out a, 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 an extensive, extensive range. Yeah. Loads of new models. Yeah, a large range. A large range, and they're all very sort of vintage looking and yes. vintage feeling yes like with v-necks and with uh yeah, really cool. you know they've all got v-necks they all like like we'll get we'll come to this in a minute but check that out it's got like it's wear on it aging on it yeah it seems to be the the new thing um what have you got there joss what is um, the one you've got there so the model i have uh, like every ibanez it's got quite a, a fancy name it's the <laughs> avd9 ce in natural they're good at that aren't they? yeah they are very good at that they're very good at names ibanez we um, salute you this model is made in china okay are they um, not all made in china I, I believe so um so this is a cutaway dreadnought style guitar uh, the thermo thermo age solid sitka spruce top <laughs> um it looks really lovely um, it does as, look good. As Pete said, they, they've got this cool sort of old school vibe to them. Yeah. Um, a soft V-shaped neck. Uh, the fretboard is oven cool. Um, oh, although is it? Okay. this doesn't... Yeah, it does. It does have a very soft V, whereas the others have got... Even though it says soft V there, feel a lot more aggressive than this model. Yeah, this one's got a nice V on it as well. Yeah, I think they all do. I think it feels nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the bridge is open cool. Called the body, it's got tortoiseshell binding on it. Um, if you can get that on the old camera, I'm not too sure if you can catch that. We'll get some close-ups of it, obviously, but it's got tortoiseshell binding around the back front. And a nice little touch that the torque binding goes onto the heel here. So it's got like a little tortoiseshell heel section. Um, I've got a tortoiseshell heel as well. Tortoiseshell heel. When I go dancing. Need to pummel stone that. Yeah. Um, 20 frets, bone nut. Uh, compensated bone saddle. Um, what else we got? It says it's got Daddario EXPs on it, but you're not too sure, are you? I mean, these strings. If you can try to zoom in on these strings, you can see that they're like silver. They're not. These are bronze. Yeah. Um, so, which which leads me because uh, I know Martin does uh, the Monell strings, which is like a, they used to use back in the day, mm. and they they are silver as well, and it gives it like a much brighter. Sing to the string. Mm. I really like the Monell strings. Um, yeah, yeah. They're very different from bronze. They last a long time, actually. They last much longer than you think. They're more like an electric. It was almost look like you put electric guitar strings on it. They do look like electric guitar strings on it, yeah. But they're not. Um, um, you got some on board. Yeah, so this is the Fishman Sonicor um, yeah. equipped. Um, and it looks amazing, actually. It really, really does look the part for this acoustic guitar, anyway. 
Um, a little barn door. Yeah. It's not like, I mean, you've got the onboard tuner as well, and it's a lovely fancy tuner as well. As you can see, I'm slightly flat. Um, and the EQ on there, you've got bass, treble, and volume. Like most sort of onboard um, preamps, I feel as if it's, they're, they're quite bright and they're very, you know, so I've dri dipped the treble off, especially on like a dreadnought style, but mm. it sounds amazing. It's nine volt battery equipped, so you can just, uh, Oh, oh, that's because you can just there. you can just pop it open like that, basically. Now here's a question for you because I think uh, on this range, I think all of the more affordable because they're really affordable. They're they like are four seventy nine. Yeah, they're coming uh, at four hundred seventy nine. Uh, and, and they yes, go ones. up higher, but I think the back and sides are laminate, so yes. they, so it's not solid mahogany um, no. as it will be on the higher models. But we'll talk about that in a minute. What does it sound like? That's, the, that's what we really want to hear. Um, oh, it's got an XLR out as well, I think. It's really it does. Cool. So you've got, just to show you where my jack is going in, so I'm being careful. I like uh, that top. You've got your jack and you've got your XLR, so you can choose. If you that want top is good. You yeah, can see the grains a, are really wide. It's a really, which means really good looking the top. The wood has grown slower, apparently. So, that's what the clever people say. But check out the back. Yep. I mean, yep. that is a really glorious yep. looking piece of mahogany. Nice tuners. Nice tuners. Uh, Have a look at the tuners up here. They're really nice. The one thing that I really believe that Ibanez pride themselves I believe on, I believe in my Ibanez, is that they, their playability of their instruments. You know? Uh, yep. I, um, I, I, these I guitars concur. play concur. amazing. Yep. So I'm just going to play a couple of chords just so you can hear it. Yep. Uh, we're going through the Neumann KM184s here, both me mm. and Pete. Um, and this is just a couple of chords just so you can hear what it sounds like acoustically. Nice, huge sounding guitar. Those Monell strings, are, it's probably not, but they just seem to me like they are. They yeah. give it a certain sort of brightness and low end and mid range and <laughs> <laughs> brightness, low end and mid range at the same time. I mean, I'm playing a guitar pick that's it's it's two mil fat and it's Altex, so it has this really soft sound to it. Yeah. Um, but still, the guitar. <laughs> Is really bright. It's lovely. So it's a really, really lovely sounding guitar. Nice. Anyway, move on mm. to the uh, k the name that is also rolls off the tongue, the uh, AVC9CE dash slash dash. Yeah, it's got O P N. O P N. O P N. So solid mahogany top, mahogany laminate back and sides. I'm not sure what the neck's made of. It looks kind of a, like. Um, just a, like a, a hardwood of some sort, mm. mahogany uh, type. Uh, open butter bean tuners, uh, which I love that, you know, I love these uh, open gear tuners here. Yeah. Um, again, open gold fretboard. I think they've gone with that for most of the range this mm. time because we know that the uh, the whole thing we about... the sitches. Um, yeah, rosewood, unfortunately, has been slayed in the appendix to of something. Mm. Anyway, um, got this open pore top here, which is really cool. We'll see if we can get some. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see it's like open pores in mm. it. So there, it's actually open cat pores. Yeah, actually, it actually says the the finish on the top is open pore, the back and sides is open pore, and the neck back is open pore finish as yeah. well. So the entire it's like guitar. It's a vintage thing, isn't it? Yeah. Again, with that soft V neck, feels really nice. Um, it's like an um, what do you call it? It's like a grand con concert yeah. shape. Oh, that's what they call it. I would yeah. say it might be a little bit smaller. Again, you got the Sonicore Fishman equipped with the XLR input and the same as Joss uh, explained to you before. I'm going to turn that down, and you're going to hear it's got the same strings on as your as you as yours. Yeah. You, uh, use. Uh, and this is what it sounds like. Here's a G chord in a fancy shape like this. I think it sounds great. Just been to Nashville, mm. so it's a lot of that. 
<laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet. Um, and I can get up there in a dusty area where there's absolutely no money on that acoustic guitar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it feels really nice. It's really set up. It's not um, too high. It's not too low. Yeah, it's kind the of intonation spot on, really. is just spot on. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that is not surprising. Uh, but at the guitar that costs four hundred and seventy nine quid, um, there's such a wide array of guitars at this price point now. Yeah. And I think they all of the companies are like, they have to make sure that there's at the 500 point mark is the point mark is the best because it's just, i mean there is there's so many yeah you have to be competitive quid. now you absolutely have to i get it all the time hey pete man uh what i've got 500 quid what guitars will i buy and i'm like and there's it, yep. so many yeah there's so many yep. you have to just go and maybe we should do a video uh we just go and pick four guitars at 500 quid yeah yeah see what they these, this will like. absolutely be in uh yeah and it's the good brilliant. thing about it is just the whole, so, uh, now having at that 479, 479, 449, and we'll get to the other model, but they've yeah. all got solid tops, which is just one of the better yeah. things about and, it. And the fact that they, they age it the same thing, so the whole range, of course, is thermo aged. Mm. Let me just have a coffee out of my thermo mug. Your thermo us. Is that, is that, the, uh, is that, the, is that the same thing? So this, this, this is a thermo thing? Yeah, it's the thing. thermo side of things, thermo technology. Thermo must have something to do with Heat. Keeping the heat. Yeah. Um, this is uh, WordPress. Thank you for that one. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is not sponsored by WordPress or anybody else. We pay for these videos ourselves, mm. so we can do whatever we want. Exactly. Um, okay. So let me just quickly. I know you didn't do yeah. that, but let me just quickly play it through the uh, Boss Acoustic Singer Pro. So that's what you're going to hear now. So the Boss Acoustic Singer Pro. Sounds great. Yeah, I think these are I some mean, of my favourite mid-priced, affordable electroacoustic guitars I've played in a long time. Absolutely. They're very specific. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of them. The last couple of years that we've been doing these shows on this, uh, I've been doing YouTube videos, and we do an acoustic. It, the, the whole quality of more affordable instruments have just gone. Mm. It seems like they've really got the factories. Yeah. under control and they've really got the fact that the the manufacturing side of it is all much more spot on it's like yeah. somebody goes down and goes no you need to do this and really stands and yeah over them all the time I mean, and looks especially what they're doing, a japanese you know. owned company as well i i would assume that makes guitars in china exactly mm. hey we're all friends but i would assume their um their quality control and expect um inspection sort of side of things is probably pretty Man, damn good it looks nice though yeah they look really good let's move on cool
Well, exactly as you would expect. Massive sound, boom. And uh, Small. sort of a mid-range yeah. uh, sound. Mm. Yeah. This. So, do you want to start? Yeah, I'll start with this one. Okay. I love that. It looks um, great. This one's really cool. This reminds me of the exact same style of guitar that's on that Robin Robert Johnson photo, that really old one where he's wearing yeah. the suit and he's sitting Nobody there. knows exactly what it is, but people say, oh, it's a Gibson, it's a Gibson. Yeah. It might be a Gibson, it might be you something else. Know. Who knows? Um, but it reminds me of that. Um, this is the um, this is the Ibanez AVNW-ABS. <laughs> yeah, Artwood Vintage Acoustic Antique Brown Sunburst. Yes, exactly. Super name. So this is a parlor sized guitar, um, Thermo Age top. This is solid Caucasian spruce. Caucasian? Mm. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Um, mahogany back and sides once again. Um, it's got a Spruce X thermo aged bracing. Yeah, so I can I only assume that they've thermo, a thermo aged the bracing inside of the guitar as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, I think that would, they, they, do, they do the whole thing. So they do the insides, the back and the sides, and the top and, and everything. I, it, that makes sense to me mm. to do that. Yeah. Uh, I can imagine they like to do that. Yeah, I reckon so, they like um, to do that. Um, to put the so a aced older wood, otherwise it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you yeah, have exactly. to have older woods to be yeah, exactly. the same. Um, so, once yeah. again, mahogany soft V-shaped neck. Um, you get more and more used to it. When I first grabbed the guitar, it felt quite big in terms of the V profile, oh. but it doesn't anymore. Um, fretboard is open call, same as that. Uh, top board purfling is herringbone. No, that's must be around the guitar, right? Yeah. Herringbone. It looks. Inlays. It looks amazing. That's what I have on my Martin OM twenty eight V. It looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I was I looking love for, actually. Uh, gold Mother of Pearl Dots. Um, Tuning machine's antique chrome, oval, no, oval knobs in that really, really classic old school um, acoustic guitar way. Um, that's about it. 18 frets. Yeah, that's about yeah. it, really. Um, this is got, it attached to the 12th fret? This is attached yeah, to the 12th okay. fret. Um, and this has obviously no place for your input jack. Game this input is jack. just fully acoustic. Oh. It projects. It really projects. does. It really does. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. It plays just as well as the others. Yeah. Yeah, it just it plays really well. It looks unbelievably cool with the aging. I don't know if that necessarily that's where it would age on an acoustic guitar, but other than that, it looks. Normally, you get like either like around this bit like here, here where, you, right? where people cross with their pick. Yeah. So you, this bit would be all done, and then down here would be done. This looks more like it's been and up here a little bit thrown in that direction. Maybe it and has. It, and it's been thrown so fast that it's like broken through the earth's and, and uh, gravitational pull and it's set on fire and you can see it going in that direction. Okay, so this guitar I've got here. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the, uh, it also one of the ne uh, names that I just love mm. these names. Well done, Ivan. AVD60 NT. This is not the top of the range, they do like an 80 and they do, what was it, 11 or something? Something like it's that, called yeah. some, There's some other numbers there. Uh, this is 449, um, by the way. So that's quite affordable. But this is the most expensive one we have here, 719. Yeah, 719. 719. Now here's an interesting thing I'm going to start with. I'm going to tell you that the fretboard and the bridge is cultured maple. This is maple. This okay. is maple. Cultured? What does that mean? That it's been... so maybe they made a mistake and, and it should be coloured, but it's cultured. This is maple. <laughs> look. Oh yeah, coloured maybe. Because cultured. cultured. It says cultured, but look, that's maple. That's insane. That is crazy. You would think that was ebony. No, you would. Cultured. Wow. It's very, if you look at it, it's very shiny though. I think ebony would might have a bit of a uh, slightly sort of, um, but this looked like what? Mm. Well, well you we learn something every day. Can yeah. you check that? Can you check that out? I've never seen that before. So, double A solid Sitka, uh, sorry, Eddie Rundback's Bruce. Mm. Now, Eddie Rundback is normally much more expensive piece of wood. Yes. Um, and you can see, 
uh, as I mentioned before, when you had your guitar, that when it when it depends on where the tree grows, it grows slower or faster. So at the Rundack, apparently, grows slower, so you get lines that are wider. Okay. It's kind of when you see it's wide, it can mm. it it sometimes it's just normal. Uh, spruce, but other times when it's really wide, it's like Eddie Rundack or Engelmann spruce or mm. whatever. But it's a pure, pretty, it's a pretty bookmarked piece of uh, wood because they yeah. cut it down in half and they put it together. It looks good. Again, again, thermo aids the whole thing, um, inside bracing, all that stuff. The neck again is the soft V neck, but this one has got a volute. Yeah, Check that out, a I diamond shaped volute. Only this one. Only these ones have got them. They've got velutes. I love velutes. It's an attractive little add-on. Yeah. <laughs> Again, with the Grover open gear butter bean tuners. It sounds like something out of Harry Potter. Butter bean head. Isn't it? It is, yeah. though. Butter bean beer. Butter beer. Butter beer. Butter beer. Yeah, that's what they yeah. drink, right? That's what they drink. I don't know what's in there, but mm. I'm not sure I would like beer that's made I'd out of like butter. I don't think I'd like butter beer. No. It's, you know, can just imagine when it, if it gets... It has to be warm, and then when it gets a bit cold, it gets all... It gets all, like... You're trying to get it Fermented. out of there. Yeah, you should. Don't film that because that was just really weird. Anyway, um, and it just slides this big lump of butter, this slice, and you have mm. to. What? You have no. to. Uh. No. Anyway, so um, again, the Dario strings, these are definitely bronze strings, so you can see. And it sounds like this on a G chord. That's really nice. I mean, that's really nice. So would it be it's because really of the nice would, it, would it be because of the Adiron Adirondack spruce that it is more expensive? Yes. That's the reason. Yeah, and the Adirondack spruce is much more expensive. I th I've, I heard you will probably shoot me down in the comment section. Boom boom. If I'm wrong, but I heard it can put up to like between a thousand and fifteen hundred quid on a guitar, depending on the top. Wow. Okay. De uh, depending on what brand, depending on what wood, depending on how old, depending on all of this different yeah, stuff, yeah. it can be like a, it's a lot of money that goes on top of the price. Right. Okay. Um, I mean, that's it really. Yeah. Basically, on these guitars, uh, this is all gloss finish. This again doesn't have any inputs. So you got your pins, so you can you can strap it on if you like. Mm. Um, it looks great. It sounds great. It feels great. Um, no, I think that's a, a statement for all of these models. I think they yeah. all just look and sound Art wood good. vintage, that's what this whole thing is called. So if you look on the top of this here, it's got a little A and a little W. So that's the series, Art wood vintage. Right, thermo, okay. Th th um, thermo aged, man. Mm. Art wood vintage, thermo aged. Art wood Brrr. vintage, thermo aged. Say that quickly twice. Mm. Go on. Art wood vintage, thermo Art wood vintage, thermo aged. Art wood vintage, thermo aged. I keep saying thermal. Like yeah, thermal. Thermal. Yeah. Telmo. Instead of thermo. I mean, these are great. Well done, Ibanez. Yeah. Um, I might have a look at these. They're in the shop right now. We've got uh, most of the ones, apart from one or two, in stock at the moment. So come in and try them out if you're looking good for a guitar under 500 quid. Yeah. These are absolutely something you'll have to look at. I would like to play this one. Yep. On I'll, the outdoor jam. I might as well play that one. Yeah. And then we can use the uh, amps. And Joss was playing the Hughes and Kettner. Our era mm. one. Era um, one. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Links below. Please subscribe and love you loads. Cheers, guys.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting, and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.